and um, I'm gonna give some little little education on how to ride a motorcycle now I mean I'm gonna go over the little parts and stuff like that so you know what you're looking at I feel like anybody can ride any kind of bike as long as you know what you're doing to be honest like if you know how to drive uh, a stick as far as you know automobile or car it's the same thing but just different controls so you got your clutch here right you got your front brake here right right here is your shifter one down is first gear uh halfway up will be neutral then up twice i mean up once it'll be second up again third up again fourth up again fifth up again six now some bikes only have five gears some bikes only have four gears it just depends on what, what kind of bike you have honestly um but yeah so what else, what else? so I, I did the clutch the front brake the throttles here just roll it back um uh shifter here rear brake here it's 30 percent 70 percent 30 percent braking power 70 percent braking power um yeah so a lot of people misconstrued on how to ride and i'm going to show you how to ride a, a motorcycle today the zx6r so all right so we are in first gear so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in neutral member i said just not quite all the way up to second you just want to get it slightly up well on this bike you can actually just get it up and it won't go to second i'll just go straight to neutral <sighs> all right so when you're in neutral you don't have to hold the clutch you just power it up which is this button this is to shut it off this is to power it up so boom all right so the bike's powered up next thing you want to do is hold the clutch down and hit the shifter down once now you're in first gear all right now for new riders this is what i would advise you to do to practice man you don't have to give it any throttle at all to get you know yourself going right i'm not going to give it any throttle i'm just going to let off the clutch slightly until this thing gets moving no gas right now it's just kind of drifting right now but it is in gear so if i give it gas it'll start going right so you don't actually have to even give it gas you know coming from a stop you could just if you're uncomfortable with giving it gas because you're scared that you're going to give it too much gas just let it roll off and then you know ease into it ease into the throttle now like i said you let off of the clutch and when i say a little bit of gas this is a lot of gas that's too much gas you want to do just a little bit of gas like right around like there on the rpms that's where you want to be just a little bit of gas just ease into it as you let off the clutch easily and you'll start pulling right very very simple to do all right so we're gonna turn around again we're gonna turn around again now watch out for this gravel it's a lot of gravel in this parking lot but i figured this is a perfect parking lot to try to practice this this in so i can show you guys new riders now i'm gonna put it in neutral let off the clutch you cannot let off the clutch when it's in gear if you let off the clutch when it's in gear this is what's going to happen right you cannot let off the clutch when it's in gear all right so it's in neutral let off the clutch as long as it says in there you're in neutral so i'm going what i'm going to do here i'm going to back it all the way up so you can uh see i'm going to shift this time i'm going to shift the second i'm going to go first put it in first start off and then i'm going to shift it in the second and then i'm going to break right so I probably should have showed you guys, you know, using the clutch as far as shifting because this bike actually has 
something known as KQS mode, quick shifting. And it allows you to basically just hold the throttle down. It allows you to hold the throttle down and then just, you don't even have to pull this back to shift. You just click up the shifter and it'll shift. But you cannot let off the throttle. If you go into, if you let off the throttle, it'll go into a false neutral. And that'll just be embarrassing, trust me. Because your bike will just rev like hella loud and then you'll realize you're in neutral. So you don't let off of the throttle when you shift. In KQS mode, you hold the throttle, shift. That's it. Very, very easy to do. All right, let me turn this off, man. Give a little insight. All right. All right, so I just showed you guys what? I just showed you guys all of the main parts of the bike. Like I said, you're clutch front brake shifter rear brake throttle throttle on the right side not on the left side and uh yeah man it's, it's pretty much how to how to ride a motorcycle man it's just very easy like i said if you know how to drive a car you can ride a bike it's just different controls that's it but the same principle let off the clutch give it a little gas get going and when you shift push in the clutch shift your gear let off the clutch give it gas that's simple uh but i hope you guys got the gist of you know how to ride i didn't want to i didn't get too into detail like real super detail of it but you know you get the point that's just how you do it but this is my Kawasaki ZX6R. And I'm almost to a year of riding. But I did, uh, let me see. When I first got into riding, I bought a dirt bike. I bought a dirt bike last year and around, around like March, last March. And I rode it for about three months and then traded it in towards this. I didn't get much riding out of it. I probably rode it about maybe six, seven times. Uh, problem was you had to ride it off-road. So we don't have much places off-road that we were able to ride it. So uh, I ended up, you know, just saying, you know what? I'm going to get me a street bike instead. Get my uh, M Take my MSF course, get me a street bike. But I actually got the street bike before I took my MSF course. I was that confident that I would pass it. The dirt bike basically just got me back into it. It got me back into the physics of motorcycle riding. So if you can ride a dirt bike and you understand clutching all that shit on that, you definitely can ride this. Uh, honestly, I wish I would have got me a, a 1000, but um, it was probably destined for me to get this one. So it's probably the best idea just to start off on the 636, even though it is a, it is a monster bike. <coughs> But yeah, like I said, hope you guys take something from this video and it works out for you in your favor, man. I'm just trying to help out. That's it. But I'm going to go ahead and power on up and head on back home just because I'm bored. And also, when the kickstand's down, this bike won't turn on. You see, I'm going to put it in neutral. It still won't turn on. The kickstand, well, actually... You can't put it in gear. You can have it up, but it, once I put it in gear, and then I try to go, there you go. See, it cut right off. So you got to have the kickstand up, and you can start it. Go ahead and get on out of here. Like I said, it is a lot of gravel in here, but I hope you guys got an understanding of how to ride a motorcycle off of that, man. Didn't take much, didn't take long to teach you. Now just get out there and practice. Get yourself a bike. Get out there and practice. Catch y'all on the next one.